Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a text fire effect in Photoshop. In this video I tried to explain step by step. In this tutorial I didn't use any extra files, like brushes, patterns or stock images. For easy and better understanding, two different examples are mentioned in this tutorial. So let's get started. Subscribe, and most importantly hit the bell to stay notified about new videos. Start by create a new layer. Set the width to 1280 pixels and the height to 720 pixels. Create a new gradient for background. Choose this basic gradient, set the style to radial, Check Reverse and increase scale to more than 300%. Click on Gradient and then click on Small Black Square and change the color. Repeat for a small white square, but with a lighter color. Type your text and set its color darker than the background color. While the text layer is selected, Press Ctrl plus A to select the whole document, grab the Move tool from Tools panel, click both the Align Vertical Centers and the Align Horizontal Centers button to center the layer exactly in the middle of the document. Hold down the Ctrl key and click on the left side of your text layer to select your text. Create a new layer and grab one of the Selection Tools from Tools panel. Then right-click on the Selection area and click on Make Work Path set 0.5 pixels and press OK. Go to Filter menu, Render and Flame. Set Flame Type to Number 3 and try to keep the rest of the settings to a minimum. Uncheck Adjust Interval for Loops and press OK. Create a new layer and apply again the Flame Filter. But this time uncheck Randomize Length and check Adjust Interval for Loops. Grab Then Pen Tool from Tools Panel, right-click on Path Area and Delete Path. Add mask to this layer, press Ctrl plus I to invert mask, make sure the foreground color is white, grab the brush tool, increase the opacity and flow and paint on areas that have less fire. Merge down this layer with below layer. Make a copy. Go to filter menu, blur and Gaussian blur. Increase the radius to 12.5 pixels. Create a new solid color with light orange color. Set this layer to screen. Click on the mask of the layer and press Ctrl plus I to invert mask. Make sure the foreground color is white. Increase brush size, decrease the opacity and flow and paint on text to make more lighting. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to merge all layer to new one. Go to Filter menu and Camera Raw Filter. Increase Contrast. Go to HSL Adjustments, in Luminance tab, increase the amount of yellows, oranges and reds. Then go to Presets and set Vignetting to Light. There is another example with different font and shape but with the same effect for this reason. I speed up this part of the video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly hit that bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. It's totally free and you'd support me big time. Anyway guys, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.